Hello, friends. I've been kind of in a melancholy state of mind. A lot of artists, a lot of creatives go through this. I know moms go through this. These topics are out there. People talk about it, but not a lot of people understand it. Not a lot of people know what it's like, know what it feels like. Because of that, not a lot of people know how to create like a safe space for someone to be able to express that side of them, to be able to express like those vulnerable moments. And you know, sometimes you can just be dealing with some things like in secrecy. And if you are that type of person where people see you as the strong person, then if you do appear like you have it all together, that you know what you're doing in life and you have it all figured out. At the end of the day, we're all human. It could be a lonely road. It could be lonely just being, being an artist, being a creative and not really having a community of people around you who understand that, who understand what it's like. And it could also be lonely being a mom. You know how they say like it takes a village. I don't have like a physical village. So sometimes it could feel a bit overwhelming, especially when you have so much on your plate, so much things that you wanna do, so much things that you wanna accomplish. But it could be kind of hard to, to create that time. and to be able to focus. And so that's been kind of like the state where I am right now. There's a lot of things that I wanna accomplish. There's a lot of things that I wanna do, especially now that I'm in a space where I'm feeling more confident in myself. I've been doing a lot of mindset work. I've been listening to a lot of spiritual teachers. I realized that you really have to drown yourself with new information that's about changing your mindset, especially if you are someone who's been through a lot of trauma in your life. The thing about trauma, it could be stored into your body and you have no idea what it's doing. There's a lot of diseases that are manifested from holding in certain emotions. And even if you look back and you think of a time where you were super angry and if you could remember back, where did you feel that in your body? For me, like I feel that in my head. I feel it in my stomach when I'm super angry. I know this is not good, especially if you're not even expressing it, you're holding on to it. So imagine what sadness could do and all of these heavy feelings and you don't have a safe space to express it. You don't have people around you who you can talk about these things you don't have a space where you can cry where you can just let it out and you just hold it in and it's not good it's not healthy like we're we're all human we can't just expect to just be one way and you can't expect that for yourself and you can't expect that for the next person and you can't allow the next person to, ex to put those expectations on you because you are a human being your feelings are valid it's okay if you have moments where you just feel where you feel like you feel really bad. I mean, there's another word I wanna use, but my daughter is here, but I'm, I'm sure you guys understand. It's okay, it's all right. I think that the where it gets problematic is where we sit in those feelings for too long and where now you're sitting in, in that feeling and now it kind of just snowballs into something else. It affects you in different ways where there's days where you don't even feel like getting up out of bed. Now, you know, there's been days where I didn't feel like getting up out of bed, but I had to, so I did it, you know? But there, it could get so bad where you just wanna lay in bed all the time and you, where you just feel like hopeless and where you feel misunderstood, where you feel like there's, where you feel alone and that's a really it's a really tough feeling to go through loneliness loneliness is it's, it's really hard especially when you know like there's billions of people in this world it's like okay well how can you be lonely you're not lo lonely there's so many people out there in the world but but it, it, it's just that you're looking at where you are physically and who is around you who's in your circle whether it's friends, whether it's family, I don't know. And you just hold it in and you're not expressing it. That's where I believe creativity could really be beneficial. It's been beneficial for me. And, and I'm not saying that I'm, you know, always happy, I'm always jolly. No, that is not the case. There's a lot, it's a lot of heavy things that I know I personally had to deal with. And 
it's tough when you don't have that support where you don't feel safe and not feeling safe is not it's not a good feeling i've been feeling kind of off i've been feeling kind of down even me just doing this video like there's so much resistance there's so much stuff i want to say but i don't want to say <laughs> say it because it's, it's uncomfortable me even coming having a youtube chat channel showing up doing these type of videos where i'm talking it's me stepping out of my comfort zone and one thing that i realized is that when I feel this way, where I feel like there's like a lot of like pressure or where I'm feeling off or where I feel like I'm being squeezed. There's certain seasons in your life where you feel like you're being squeezed. And I've noticed that the times where I felt like I was being squeezed was when I was doing something that was out of my comfort zone, where I was doing something that was different, where I was doing something that I know that people around me wouldn't really understand and where I was doing something where I was keeping it to myself and not sharing it with with a lot of people and I'm going to say what I grew up hearing and I'm it's it could be a spiritual attack it could be I mean spiritual warfare is is real I truly believe that a lot of us are attacked mentally part of the reason is the programming some of the things that we grew up listening to some of the things that we grew up watching is we live in a certain system and this certain in this system wants us all operating a certain way so we've been programmed since we were since we were babies essentially we're not only programmed by our parents we're programmed by tv shows we're programmed by our teachers we're programmed by society by friends etc and the things that people in your life have told you okay go on this path may not have been the path for you and a lot of us that we have like these dreams we have these grand dreams these secret dreams that we have and we keep it a secret or we don't share it because we don't have or we don't know the blueprints for it like the educational system that a lot of us grew up in, we, they're not telling us, they're not giving us blueprints for everything, you know, especially if you want to go into a creative field. It's really much harder. It can really be hard to continue to focus on your dreams while everything in your life or what's going in your situation, your circumstances is telling you, hey, you know, this is a crazy idea. Maybe you shouldn't do it. Maybe you don't, you don't, maybe you're not ready. And I've noticed that that's really when those thoughts really starts piling up. And um, I, I truly believe that, you know, it could be because you're deciding to do something that you're called to do. The attack is real. The attack can be really real. It could be, it could be heavy. It could be, it could be hard. And that's where you give up. That's where you're like, okay, yeah, there's no point in pushing through. There's no point in moving, moving forward because I, I'm not seeing the confirmation or I'm not seeing anything really unraveling but if you really focus though if you really look you will find the confirmation you will find that god is winking at you you will find god directing you and telling you to keep moving forward if you even like you think about like olives olives have to be crushed in order for it to have enough in order for the oil to come out you think of the process of a diamond of what diamonds have to go through if you think of butterflies caterpillars let's let's say caterpillars what caterpillars go through i mean caterpillars they are they crawl on the ground and they're just strictly on survival mode and they don't even move that fast even the process of when they are in the cocoon what happens to them they get mushy it's ugly it's an ugly stage and sometimes you can be in your caterpillar stage sometimes you can be in the cocoon sometimes you can be in a state where you're coming out of the cocoon even that is is not pretty it's not cute even coming out of the cocoon is like it, it looks like a struggle i know there's a lot of things that's going on in the world a lot of uncertainties and it could be scary you know it could really be scary and it could really be uninspiring and make you seem kind of crazy for following your dream and i just wanted to come here and say just keep doing it just keep following your dreams no matter what what it looks like no matter what what it feels like just keep 
just keep going. We really have to learn to push past these heavy feelings. We have to learn how to push past those moments where we feel depressed and i don't say it lightly like i'm not saying it as if like this is it's not serious because i know it's serious at night like when i usually at night when i can't sleep and i'm just staring at the ceiling i'm staring at the wall and i just start talking to god just start having like these intimate conversations with god and i and i'll ask god like what's my purpose where God is leading me I just know that God wanted me to show up on YouTube and I don't know in what capacity but here I am and you know like it's not the most ideal situation these are things that it, it's tricky these are you know different challenges that you may run run through and if you feel like God called you to do something and you don't know why and you show up and the situation is not cute the situation is not pretty I mean we like there's a lot of people on YouTube who their setup is really nice it looks really fancy it looks really good and it's gonna keep people engaged it's gonna keep people coming back to to their channel but if that's not you if you feel like you don't have that yet and but god is telling you to show up and you're just showing up but nobody is really watching nobody knows who you are nobody sees you yet yeah it could feel like okay did i really hear god was that really god was that all in my imagination am i being crazy like what am i doing but god still wants me to show up he wants me to show up the way that i'm the way that i am he wants me to show up under the circumstances that that i'm in and again like i don't know in what capacity but i'm doing it anyway and i hope that me sharing that part of me where it's you know it's, it's vulnerable for me to even put that out there like that i hope that coming here sharing my story showing myself showing like the imperfection showing up with sometimes my cat is meowing in the background i don't know if you guys heard her like my baby was just crying you know like it could get noisy up in here even though there's all of these things that's just telling me okay you're not ready no like nobody's gonna like want to see that no nope, this is not engaging this is not going to capture people even though that may be the case i hope i'm still inspiring someone to show up in whatever capacity that you can show up i'm just shooting with the phone so i don't have like a whole lot of setup going on so yeah i just want i just want to encourage you to show up however way in whatever capacity that you can and just keep pressing forward keep pushing forward have faith lean on god trust god i believe that we're in an era where we have to step out of our comfort zone we have to address the things that's just bubbling up inside of us and really explore it we really have to explore our, our minds really understand like why we're feeling a certain way like what's going on here the stuff that you don't want to say out loud because you don't want people to judge you or you don't want people to use that as ammo against you i just say keep going keep doing it no matter how it looks no matter if it's cringeworthy again like me even like sharing this on on youtube the old me would be cringing we have to have these type of conversations and stop running away from it we have to hear other people's story but also be willing to share our own story as well we're not victims we're victors when you really understand if you are still here and you're still going you're still moving you are a victor there's so much freedom in just leaning into god there's a lot of freedom in in trusting god and trusting god to lead you that felt really good for me to even say it because i know that it's gonna resonate with someone we are all one you know we're really not as different as the world tries to make it seem we're all here experiencing life and if you feel like you are one of the peculiar ones if you feel like you are one of the ones who's carrying something heavy and sometimes it may feel like you're meant to touch people like on a global level but sometimes that's not even the point sometimes the point is not even to touch people on a global level sometimes it's to just touch that one person so I feel like I had to come here and share that. I hope that I just I inspired someone to keep pushing, keep pushing forward. Know that you're not alone. There are plenty of us out here who's feeling that pressure, who's feeling that heaviness. 
who's feeling that resistance who's feeling that that force that's just holding us back but you're called to do something so just keep going keep pushing forward yeah i understand that we live in reality and depending on something that we don't see depending on the supernatural may feel like it's not the wisest thing to do but what if that is the wisest thing to do you know and if you look back on your life and you realize there's certain projects if you notice the pattern within yourself when you notice like there's certain things that you you stop doing or you stop a certain project or you stop a, a business that you wanted to that you wanted to start because it didn't because it wasn't grounded in reality Maybe you need to look at your life right now and ask yourself, well, are you happy? Are you satisfied? Are you content? Do you do you feel that flame? Do you like did it did it die down? Because then if it died down, then I don't know, maybe you need to revisit that because if it was in your mind, it was there because you're able to do it. You're equipped for it. You have all the tools. It's within you. It's gonna work out. And I'm not sitting here saying that I'm where I wanna be. I'm sitting here as someone who is probably in the cocoon stage right now. Even that is kind of gray for me. I know I'm not a caterpillar anymore but I also know I'm not a butterfly but I also feel closer to the butterfly so being in that stage in your life where you don't know where it's going to what it's gonna come out to be what it's you, you don't know <laughs> where you're just like in the I don't know I, I don't know and you just say it out loud and you're like I don't know but I'm just gonna keep doing this even though I don't know what this looks like even though I don't know what I'm doing but I'm just gonna keep doing it I'm just gonna keep pushing forward it takes a lot of courage that's why it's so important to build that relationship with God but you have to know it you have to know that God has your back you have to know that God is supporting you you have to know that God is there with you. He's always been there. This is the time, this is the era where we have to know who God is. We have to face God. We have to address God. We have to seek God and understand what that means. And once you do, your life will never be the same. It will not make sense. It might not make sense to people who know you. It might not even make sense to you. Talk to God. If you don't know what that means, seek what that means.